Hello. Do you want to make renders like this? Full of intricate details that span from the camera lens all the way to the vanishing point of the scene? What if I told you that these complex meshes were actually very simple shapes, just duplicated around a bunch of times? Let's talk about kit bashing. No, not that one. Kit bashing in 3D, akin to its 2D counterpart, photo bashing, has become an invaluable tool for artists looking to expedite the creative process. The cool thing about Blender is that as you practice, you not only get better at individual techniques, you also build up a library of 3D assets that you can reuse in future projects. Now, when creativity sparks, I don't need to model everything by hand. To start using the asset browser, open Blender and hit Edit, Preferences. Click File Paths, and next to the Asset Libraries section, click the plus button to add a new file path. Navigate to whichever folder you want to store your assets in. Now copy a blend file into that folder. Open it and select any object you want to show up in the asset browser. Right click it in the outliner and select mark as asset, then save the blend file. Much like fitting puzzle pieces together, this technique allows me to explore ideas rapidly and focus more on the overall composition versus the individual assets. Let's make a few things. Reference images will be your best friend here. Scaffolding can quickly add a lot of detail and is surprisingly easy to make. Add a cube and scale it into a rectangle shape. Triangulate the faces and add a wireframe modifier. Use an array modifier to stack the scaffolding vertically. Fire escapes are a bit trickier, but still achievable with a bit of planning. Just keep the vertical proportions in mind so everything lines up when you add the array modifier. The handrails are just planes with a wireframe modifier, similar to the scaffolding we just made. Modifiers are extremely powerful when used properly. Here I've turned a plane into a more complex shape, thrown on a triangulate, wireframe, solidify, and finally a remesh modifier. Place this object off to the side for some instant complexity. Add a plane, tab into edit mode, select all of the vertices and hit M, merge at center. This leaves us with a single point we can extrude into a basic shape like this. Select any internal vertices, hit Ctrl B, V to bevel the individual points, and scroll the mouse wheel up to increase the resolution. Jump out of edit mode and convert this mesh into a curve. Head down to the curve properties under geometry and increase the bevel depth. Bump the resolution number up as well. Convert it back into a mesh. Now we can fill these two end faces with the F key. Add edge loops with Ctrl R, bevel them with Ctrl B and extrude them along their normals with Alt E. Give it a metal or a pipe texture. Make a bunch of these. You can group them together or save them as individual pipes. Now you can reach for them whenever you need to quickly detail a wall or roof or floor or pretty much anything. Cables are similar to pipes, just use bezier curves instead. After converting it to a mesh, you can isolate these longer edges, turn them back into curves, make some droopy, re-bevel them and convert them into a mesh again for a bunch of winding cables. You can also make use of the draw curve tool to quickly add a bunch of them. By using a mirror modifier with bisect checked, we force the texture to be symmetrical. Start modeling details based on the texture. This is a great way to quickly get that sci-fi look for our assets. Let's turn what we just made into a quick scene. I like working from camera view most of the time, because it means I avoid wasting time placing assets that won't even be visible in the final render. Some people might find this way of working lazy or corner cutting, but being able to solve problems quickly is the name of the game in VFX, and kit bashing is by far the best way to do it. For fast, dramatic lighting, I typically stick to backlighting the subject. I'm also throwing in a fog volume to bring the vanishing point in and make the scene even moodier. Let's bring it into the compositor. Color correct, one pixel blur, diamond sharpen, glow node, film grain, lens distortion, if you're feeling really fancy, you can even bring the image into a program like Topaz and play around with the filters in there. Kit bashing. No, not that one. It is insane for making art quickly. And by working faster, you'll get more reps in, make more mistakes, and hopefully learn from them faster. You can grab the assets in this video on my Patreon, linked in the description. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone. I hope you find the video helpful.